What is up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on LEGO Worlds. Um, for some unknown reason, it has once again removed my hat. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I want my hat. Though, I'll admit I cannot recall exactly what hat we decided to use. Um, let's go ahead. No, that was definitely not it. I think we went with the white one, actually. Okay, so when we left off in the last episode, obviously we found this... I'm calling it a mine. I don't really know what it is, to be perfectly honest. But there were some zombies in here, which had me intrigued. Um, so we stopped to investigate what the zombies were after. Give me my... Sword. We went all walking dead on them. Hacked them up. Um, and we decided to investigate the mine. And so we paved this because I found out there are road pavers in the game. Which... Where did, where did my road paver go? I parked it around here somewhere. Or at least I thought I did. Maybe. I don't know. Um... And then we decided we were going to work on building a little base. And this is, well, what became of it so far. <laughs> so today we're going to work a bit more on our structure here, our first building. Uh, mainly because we haven't really done too much building. I know I've only put out two episodes, but still, I hadn't really done much building. Um, so let's go ahead and tackle that. Um, once again, I am going to switch up to keyboard and mouse for this, just because it's it's just easier. I find that playing the game is fine with, um, oh gosh, I gotta remember, okay, control and space go up and down. I'm so used to playing Space Engineers all the time, where C goes down, that it confuses me. Um, I'm going to delete a couple of these for some window windowage, and then maybe do a single on this side just for. Well, no, we could make this an office building. Maybe this would be like Zombie Manufacturers Incorporated. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. I can't. I love the rendering in this game. This game is, I mean, for a Lego game. How much? Uh, there's, there's only so so much graphically you're going to get out of Legos. I mean, let's just be perfectly honest. Uh, but what they've done is very, very cool. All the shininess to the bricks and everything. Like this. The shining off the side of the bricks and everything. I love it. It's just cool. So I was trying to use that to count the blocks. We got one, two, one, one, two, and then corner. So we could probably put... A window or doorway like here maybe um, let's actually leave that a little bit smaller uh, on the back on the back is fine uh, we'll put we'll kind of do the same thing over here I think just for some uniformity. Um, and like I said, the more I get used to the building mechanic and everything, the faster we'll get it at doing this. Now, one thing we have to do is we we could just have our character climb the wall, but that's, that's just unprofessional as a builder. We just can't have that. Um, so we're going to work on doing steps. Ooh, what are you? There are some of these other blocks as well that I'd like to take a look at. Um, oops, no, rotate. So there's like this one, which is an interesting block style. This one, or how do you switch? From, well, whatever, I'll work on that later. This one, there's this one. I'm kind of looking for different stair types. Or types you could use for stairs, anyway. Now, there are also... Oh, I didn't think about this. There are also, like, these we could use for stairs. 
And then we could just attach... Ooh, that could be cool. That could be cool. And there's also the flat ones. Huh. I wonder about these. I wonder if they're too tall. Let's check this out real quick. If we were to build steps like this. Uh, bear with me for a second here. I'm just doing some pseudo stairs. If we were to build them something like that, could we walk over this? Oh yes, you can. Okay, so it's not that picky. Um, I was expecting it to be a bit more particular about what kind of steps you could make. That's that's good to know. So this gives me ideas. What I'm thinking... Uh, where's the smooth tiles? These are single. Those are two. Do we have... There should be... Ah! That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so what I'm thinking... Let me place that. So I'm learning this. If you place a block, it ends up in this toolbar down here so you can easily switch. So if we did something like this... Um, and I also need... Where are... You. There you are. Okay, and then we could put... Well... That might not work the way I wanted it to. Um, I was thinking of... Well, maybe I won't need them. Actually. What does that build off of? Nothing. Interesting. Okay. Something like this, maybe, for stairs. Possibly a little lower. Like, if we were to do... Up one. Alrighty, so... I don't know what that was about. Um, I just went to a keyboard and mouse for now, since that's what we're primarily going to be dealing with anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was about. It just, like, my game completely crashed, and then I rebooted it, and then Fraps wouldn't detect it, and then when I tried to record it, once it did detect it, it, it like, froze the game. Like, seriously, I've been, I've been, I rebooted it, like, four times. It was very weird. Very, very weird. Okay, so, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Uh, one cool feature would be to be able to just select something. Place bricks, remove bricks, lower raise, toggle access, rotate, cycle, undo... Yeah, I didn't think so. Like, uh, you know, middle click the mouse button and, I, and like, grab the, the block you're looking at. That would be kind of cool. Okay, is this the one that I want? Yeah. Let's go ahead and place that one, and then we can get rid of it. That way it's just in our hotbar. We've already got those down there. So, let's find our... I passed it? I must have passed it. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. So, let's see what it looks like if we do... Like, one up. Or maybe two. I'm still getting used to the block structure. That this isn't exactly... Like, an exact science. Well, no, I mean, not. it is an exact science. But, like, normal games where it's a full block. This is like... For example... Uh, when you're highlighting here, you see this would be a full block. That it's right under it. But you can go one... Two, three, four. So you can actually highlight each one of those little layers, even though this is already that size of a block. Uh, the only problem I see here is that uh, it's floating. Oh, wait, I have a solution. I think. Maybe. Let's put one here. And then, and in case you're wondering, no, this is not going, give me my block. This is not going to stay this way. This is just me experimenting with um, stair types. Okay, that's cool. I like it. We're going to go with it. 
Let's clear all this out. Um, one other thing that I wanted to bring up, and I figured while we're building is a pretty decent time to do so. Um, is this the right color? Oops. Give me this. Is that right? I can't tell with the, the lighting. I think it's this. That looks more accurate. Alright, um, one other thing I was going to bring up, though, let's, I know I'm, I'm kind of ADDing this, sorry, <laughs> um, oh wait, I just realized I'm a dumb dumb. I could just be using these double blocks, <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it, uh, let's do one, two, let's do like this. Um, gray. Let's see. What else was I going to talk about? Oh, I was going to bring up. There's, um, I just saw the announcement in the, oh gosh, in the change log for the game today. Where's my block? There it is. Maybe. Maybe. Why won't it let me do what I want to do? It's like it's not detecting the block where I need it to. Come on. Well, that was that was persnickety. Um, I saw it in the change log though that they're doing a build competition already, which doesn't surprise me because it is Legos after all. I mean, come on, it's Legos. Enough said. Um, but basically. The catch to this one is that if uh, if people or if people if the um, the devs like the build enough, like uh, all the submissions kind of thing, out of all the submissions, um, you could actually get your build in the game, which is cool. I'm assuming I'm not positive on this, but I'm assuming it's basically going to be like a I don't know, like one of the prefab type things you can run across, kind of thing, maybe. I don't know... I guess I could do it like this... I was trying to figure out how to accurately just use this block while I had it selected, and I guess I've got it. Um, give me just a minute, I'm gonna try and do some of this off-camera. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. There was a bit of background noise. I hope it didn't end up showing up. If it did, I'll try and cut it out. Um, so I went ahead and was tinkering with this a little bit. And um, as you can see, we got... Oh my gosh, this camera. Uh, we got the stairs done. I did have to raise the block level a bit. Uh, you can see this right here. If I can ever get this camera to cooperate. I don't like the... Oh gosh. I don't like how the zoom works. I, I, I've run into this a few times with um, actual 3D modeling programs where there's a zoom and there's a move. Uh, let's see if there is a difference in this actually. Pan camera, move, move brick. Pan camera is middle click. Okay. That might be more what I'm looking for, I guess. Like, lower this, and then pan it, maybe. That might be more what I'm looking for. Because when you scroll the wheel, you're actually zooming in. And it makes it very difficult, because then you end up, like, spinning way over here, and then having to track all the way back. It's really annoying. Um... But I've actually encountered that with 3D modeling programs, too, that it doesn't really move the camera, it just zooms it way in, and you have a really hard time getting where you want to go. Uh, hopefully that will change, or they add a feature to where you can just um, do like this, but it actually moves the pivot point. That's, that's actually what I'm getting at, is the pivot point doesn't move, which makes it very frustrating. To me, anyway. Um, so, these two spaces are actually where the original wall stopped. Um, so I'm putting... I left those there so I could show everybody that I, 
had to move the wall up a little bit. Um, okay, 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 okay. So, one other thing we can do. I do love this mechanic of just being able to kind of shift drag. Um, it doesn't have yet, I know I've brought that up before, but it doesn't have the good old Space Engineers control and shift where you can go in two different directions. At least I don't think it does. Um, let's actually try that. So, this... Okay, it kind of works. Kind of does not. That was strange behavior there. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it doesn't really work to do both directions. Seems like a one at a time. Like if you're holding shift, then it'll do this direction, it'll do the other direction, but it doesn't seem to like to do both. Just my observation. I could be wrong. Alright, so we have another floor. Yay. Um, I'll have to test to see exactly how many blocks a character is before they start hitting their head. But for now... Oh, I don't want to make that uneven. See, like this, it's way too sensitive. and it need I think the biggest thing for me is pivot point. Like, where it rotates. Like, see, it's rotating from way back here behind me. As opposed to, like, right in here where the camera kind of is. It's, like, pivoting way around some random... I think it's the character, actually. I think the character is the pivot point. Let's actually test that theory. I hadn't thought about that before. Okay, yeah, so the character is the pivot point. Then, I think. Or at least where the character was? Something like that. It's something about the character is the is the pivot area, which is really aggravating because the character keeps flying away to get out of your way, but then when you try and rotate, it's like basing it off of the character. It's really annoying. Just my feedback as far as I'm not ragging on the game. I'm just... It is an early access, so it, you know when you see bugs or see something that doesn't behave quite right, it is important to bring it up. I don't do that super often. Um... But it is important. Okay, now I'm going to put points here and here. That way we won't lose um, our points. Now, I thought about this in the interim, and I think I want to try something a little different here. Because, I mean, it's Legos. It's all about experimenting. I'm looking for... I thought they had a multi-directional corner type block. I thought. I might be... I might be mistaken. But I thought they had an inverted corner block. Or rounded, I should say. Like, this is actually an inverted corner block, but I was looking for, like, this kind of block that wraps around, but I don't know if they actually have one. Something like this, but upside down. And it's unfortunate, but I'm not really finding one. And you can't do a vertical flip yet. That may end up becoming a thing at some point, but it's not right now. Let's experiment a little bit here. If I've got a point here and a point here... Will this block... No, see, I need it to be the other direction. I need it to be, like, upside down. And at the moment, we only have horizontal flipping, which... I guess because it's Legos, it's all about snapping them onto things. But like this, I kind of want to have a curve. This is ultimately what I was going for. Or actually, no. More like this kind of thing. Like, have a block here that then makes a rounded edge. Because um, quite frankly, I don't see how you can make an edge. 
Like, there's, there's always something that's going to stop it. Because if you do this, now this is out of line. So I have no real like way to to round this off. So we either need a corner block or something. I mean like that's kind of one of those again devs type of thing. Like <laughs> you have we have corners for uh, overhang type thing. We don't have any for under at least not that I'm finding. And that is kind of problematic. <sighs> Alright, so... I'm not sure I'll be able to do what I actually was thinking about doing. I was going to make like a castle ramp... Uh, what do they call it? Rampart? I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything that I could actually use to round off this edge. I was thinking maybe if I did with these enough, I could make it, but no. This is just not going to behave properly. I mean, I could do this, but that's... Ugh, doesn't look good at all. So, that's not going to work. Um, what I might have to do is kind of just wing it. And what I mean by wing it... is um, where is this one I need one here and if you're wondering what I'm doing with this it's that I'm actually correcting how this one is here but then this one is here and I didn't put a four, uh, two by two block in the center there to even out because it should have actually been like this? Nope. And then there should have been a 2 by 2 block in each corner. And that way it keeps all the dimensions straight. That's also why I have this here, but eh, eh, whatever. Live and learn. And then we're going to also put one there. So we have our corner, so now what I need to do... Uh, I don't know if I want to do it that way. Let's do like this. No, these are too small. That's too large. <laughs> We're running into the same problem. Wait a minute. Is that seriously not the right dimension? No, that's not either. What goes to this piece? None of these blocks match this angle. Where is... Okay, seriously? There's no matching angle? Oh, there it is. Ah, here we go. Got him. Okay, so we're going to basically do this the same way we did the other side. Uh, okay. So like that. Um, see, this is where I wish I could do an underhang under here. But without a corner, I don't know how to do it. It won't work. Okay. Um, let's see. There's some other things we could do with this. Like, I think I could then use this to even it out, maybe? Except, once again, I'm going to run into a dimensional problem with this corner. Gosh, corners! Legos does not do corners well. Or at least this game does not. Yeah, no. Can't put it there. Well, you're killing me, you're killing me game. You're killing me. Alright, I guess that's not going to work. Um... Alright, so anyways, as I was saying earlier before we got into all of this stuff, um, let me know what you guys think would be an interesting design for this competition thing that they're doing. 
Uh, it didn't really specify whether it was supposed to be like a vehicle or a building. I'm assuming since we really can't build vehicles, workable. I mean, that like you could, like a space engineer's where you build them and then you can drive them. Uh, at the moment, it does not seem to have that function. So, with that in mind, um, let me know what you guys think. Ooh, that was weird. About uh, builds and designs and so forth. And... Let's see, where did I leave off? One, two... Right? No. Wait. Out the way, tree. Oops. That was a bit of ground. Whatever. Did I not think that through well enough? Probably didn't. It doesn't seem to be lining up down here. That's okay. We'll just use these blocks a bit further, or a bit earlier, I guess, to round the corner. No big deal. Um, there are some size limitations that we would have to take into account. Um, I don't remember the numbers exactly, but it was something like uh, 96 by 96 by... I want to say 256, um, and that was because that was the largest model that the DirectX 11 renderer could basically render out. Hey, out the way. Um, so, kind of keep that in mind. Don't go too crazy with your suggestions like, oh, let's build a one-to-one -one Star Destroyer or Death Star or something that everybody always seems to gravitate towards. Um because it, it wouldn't actually allow like a one-to-one. -one. I mean, you could do a similar one, obviously. I might actually leave these two here because we might make this a step area where you step up onto the, the battlements of this former business building that's turning into a zombie fortress. Like, originally it was supposed to be an office building. I don't know if I really prefaced that or not. It was originally supposed to be an office. And be kind of like, Haha, we are, you know, preparing for the... Or we're investigating the zombie apocalypse. Kind of like an umbrella corporation. It was supposed to be like a staging ground to figure out what happened. You know, uh, as it turns out, this is quickly turning into more of the... Uh, Nope, crap hit the fan, so let's let's build a fortress mentality. Instead of the uh, updating men or up investigation mentality, it's turning into a surviving the apocalypse mentality. I'm gonna have to put a two block there. Now that's huh. Now if that's not weird, I don't know what is. So on this side, <laughs> um, wait, oh, it's because I already had a two block. That's, okay, that makes a way more sense. I was like, this doesn't work on this side, but it works on the other side. Yeah, that, that makes loads more sense. Okay. Um, this, however, not so much. Oh, again, there's a two block on the end. Got it. I will have to recolor this because I was going for like a concrete look, but eventually this is this is just a. It's hard to see, and b. It's just blah. So if, so fret not, color will be coming. Oh my gosh! Oh, one other thing. We're getting pretty close to running out of time for this episode, but one other thing I wanted to run by all of you. Um, while I have you here trapped in my video. <laughs> Um, cause, yeah, you know, there's no such thing as a pause button or an exit button. <clears throat> um, is... Ooh, we could do something like... Ooh, that would be cool. Wait, no. I need inverted corners for that. Uh, like so. 
this will be cool. Um, is I know I just basically asked everyone to tell me what they wanted in a community type build for a contest, but <laughs> with that in mind, um, I know a lot of people have been playing uh, Ark right now. And I bought it, I've been playing around with it, but I have not recorded it because I've got such bad frame rate with it. And again, not ragging on the devs or anything because everybody who's played it or watched videos on it knows it's been having a lot of um, performance problems due to it like not being optimized at all. Now we have to leave this open for, um, for you to enter. So we're going to put a cap there. Hey, that works. I'm happy with that. That's perfect. Um, hmm, I don't know what I want to do here with this. Uh, so anyways. what? Where was I going with that? Um, oh, I don't have a whole lot of room in my schedule. Um, Elite Dangerous and Space Engineers are pretty happy where they are. They're they're fairly comfortable. Um, and I know actually more people would probably want more Subnautica than I'm already doing. But again, scheduling wise, I don't. I've been working on. Um, sorry, I'm trying to build and find the right blocks and explain things at the same time. It's very difficult. I've been working on a spin-off series for Dog Squad that would be easier to produce and um, we're getting ready to release or, or to record that I should say. Um, it should be, if everything holds up, it should be like a 10 episode season um, which is already more than Dog Squad so that should give you an indication of how much quicker we can make it. Um, and. So we've been working on that, but we've had to build the sets and things like that, or the set, singular, at the moment. Um, we've had to build the set and stuff, uh, which has proved time-consuming, uh, and stuff like that. So, I don't know if I want to do the brick look or not. Let's just go with standard blocks for now. Um, so... With that in mind, you know, I, I we've actually been putting time into it. I just wanted to let you all know so that it's not like, yeah, well, you know, you trimmed a lot of your Let's Plays and then we haven't actually seen a whole lot of other productions like Machinimas and things like you had talked about. I am working on them. That's kind of the point, is how much time they require to produce and versus, like, I was hardly working on them at all when I was doing, like, three episodes a day. It was... Ugh, that was very difficult and very hard to do. Um, or to maintain. That was probably the biggest thing. It was it was so hard to maintain that schedule of, of three episodes a day. It, it, just, it, was, it was just bad. Um, so, I am working on stuff. Have no fear. Fear not. Um, but... That also means that I don't really have time to to add more Let's Plays, more series, and, and essentially more games back into my schedule because then I'm going to run into the same problem I had before um, of getting over overburdened with Let's Plays and not being able to get to some of the content that I would actually really like to be working on. Um, so, because of that... Because I don't really have room for more than what I'm doing right now. Um, what I'd like to know from you guys is I've actually got ARC running now at a decent level. I'm getting about 20 frames or so on it consistently. Um, and the only problem is it really doesn't look that great. I, I'll be honest. It looks kind of derpy. But... I got it to run on medium settings and did some tweaks and there was a trick that you could use to, um, oh, wait, I gotta, whoa, what's happening here? Get off of there. I gotta make sure I can fit through this. I might have to make this a two block. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. I think I need that to be too wide. 
instead of one. I think I miscalculated. Like, he can fit here, but when I'm walking, he's taking up more than one and he can't get through here. So I'm going to have to widen that. Which means this is going to have to go over. Okay. That'll be next episode, I guess. I don't think there's actually windows. I was going to put windows in here, but I don't think there actually is windows yet, as of yet. Um, so anyways, where I'm going with that is, do you guys want to see more of this? Or would you rather the Saturday episode where LEGO is being aired uh, be replaced by ARC, even though it's running kind of derpy? but it is functional at this point. So it's it's really a question of what you guys would prefer to see. Do you want to see more concrete zombie fortress building <laughs> or more dinosaur taming and hunting and stuff? Because I actually want to play Ark. Uh, I've been derping around with it on my own, but I'd like to know from you guys what you would rather see because I want to put out what people are going to watch more of. Um, either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.